Hey guys, uh, SNE Project with a, another series, and this series is going to be called the SF series or uh, Starting Fire series. Um, the reason I chose this kind of series is because fire is pretty much the most important thing you will ever need, either in a survival situation, a bug out situation, camping situation, or just a fun kind of situation. The reason I say fun is because maybe you're hanging out with some friends and you want uh, maybe to roast some marshmallows or to make s'mores. What do you do? Make a fire. Bonfire, maybe a small campfire. But fires are very important. Um, and you guys should know why I said uh, bug out or a survival situation because obviously you want to keep your body temperature as high as you as high as you can so a uh, fire will help that uh, if you don't have very many layers because at night the temperature does drop so you will need warmth all right so today's uh, first video is going to be about um, <clears throat> excuse me uh, magnesium rods the reason I chose to start with magnesium rods is because uh, it may seem to look easy on TVs when you see Bear Grylls, uh, Les Stroud, or the other survivalists uh, start fires with a uh, magnesium rod or uh, fire steel, but it really is, it's really not. I mean, it takes a little bit, so I'm going to show you uh, how to properly do it, properly strike it and um how to properly properly uh start a fire so uh one thing of course is going to help us in this video is the magnesium fire starter um another uh needed tool that is going to help us start a fire is let me get my other one is our multi tool. And the reason for this is you can there's some there's an easier way of striking it rather than using a match. So let me find it. Excuse me for a second guys. Sorry about that, guys. I had to get my uh, other multi-tool. So, that's uh, another friend that's going to help us in this. And then, last but not least, our um, one of our best friends that's going to help us is Cotton Ball. Now, just to be safe, um, I'm going to use another uh, key thing right now. It's a candle or glass thing. Glass, uh, container just to uh, hold the uh, cotton ball so it doesn't light up my desk. Alright, so I'm going to move the camera so you guys can get a, a higher view. So sorry if I'm shaking it a lot, but um, I'm doing the best I can to not shake it at all. Alright. So I'm going to move you guys around to the other side. Over here. All right, so now I'm going to take the magnesium fire steel. Actually, excuse me, guys. I'm going to make the view a little bit better. So sorry about uh, all the movement of the camera. Excuse me. And yes, I'm using uh, duct tape right now. This is just to... Uh, help a little bit with the uh with some of the view. Alright. So there we go. There we go. Alright, sorry about that everybody. Alright, now moving on. So the reason I say you need a multi tool is uh, 
out of the way is because if there is a file on your multi-tool, which there should be on everyone's, but it has to have this little hook there. And the reason for that is because when you stick it on there, it's a whole lot easier to, to strike. You get it virtually every time. No matter how hard or light you strike it, you'll get it almost every time. So, try to have that hook at the end of your multi-tool, but I'm going to show you an example of what you what else you could do if you don't have a knife or if you just don't want to jack up your blade any more than it is. I'll show you a uh, file that does not have that end. You can just use it, do it regularly. Just do it regularly. There we go. So, there's one example of how you could do it. You just re just regularly strike it if you don't have that hook at the end. But I'm going to use that example of what of if you do have the hook at the end. Just because it's easier and this video won't go as long. Alright, so moving on. So, to start a fire with a magnesium fire, fire steel is, um, move that stuff out of the frame here, is uh, what you want to do first is take the cotton ball and spread it out just to get all the fibers and everything out just so, like, any moisture on the outside is gone. Alright, so after you do that, after it's pretty flat, you lay it in, on your surface, or in my case, a candle. Alright, lay it in the candle. Take your your steel, flip it over to the magnesium side, because I don't know if you can read this, but it says shaver's edge, shaving edge, the bottom, striking edge on the top. This is the steel. This is magnesium. So what you want to do is take the magnesium, go on the corner a little bit, and you just want to shake off a good amount of magnesium. You see that? Move it up to the camera. If you see those little shavings right there, that's magnesium. And then, this will, this will be a whole lot easier with the magnesium in there. Let me just take it and you strike it. I don't know if you saw that, those sparks right there. There you go. And you have fire. So that's how you uh, use a magnesium fire steel. Um, and the reason it has magnesium on it is, is for you to use it. So, there you go. That's today's video on... Um, the SF series or starting fire series. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. And this is SNE project. See you tomorrow in the next uh, SF uh, project video. So see you guys later. Bye.